Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is the home of home workouts here on YouTube. I love sharing free content and every single week I post a new workout ranging from beginner right through to advanced, sometimes body weight, sometimes kettlebell and today is a 20 minute strength workout and all you're gonna need is one pair of heavy dumbbells. Now we're gonna work for 40 seconds, rest for 20 seconds, there's five moves in total and we're gonna repeat it four times. So four rounds of five exercises First move is going to be one dumbbell in each hand. We're going to do some heavy loaded front squats. What that means is, rather than having the weights behind us, we're going to rack them up in this front rack position. We're going to squat down nice and low, drive through the hill, stand up tall. That is going to be one rep. So 40 seconds on that. We're going to drop the weights, have a 20 second breather, then go on to our next exercise. So when you're ready, picking up the weights, rack them up. Just so you, they can rest on your shoulders if you like. You can turn them in, you can rest there. Just make sure they're coming through the front of the body. And off we go, 40 seconds of nice controlled front squats, keeping that back straight, driving those heels into the floor, really think about squeezing the quads and the glutes at the top of the move. Again, this is about tempo and pace. We're not rushing through the exercise. We're really trying to control the weights on the way down and on the way up. So 40 on 20 off, there's five moves in total, and all we need is one pair of dumbbells. All right, come on, let's go, drop down low, Drive up. Oh. Squeeze those abs as well. Keep your core engaged as you come up through that move. And rest. Okay, dumbbells down. We've got a 20 second breather. We're now going to our next move, which is going to be focused on the biceps. So we're going to do alternating bicep curls. Again, with the weight, we're trying to control it on the way down as we pull up as well. Here we go. So we'll just demonstrate from the side. So you're going to rotate the dumbbell. Lower it, and change, off we go. 40 seconds again. Obviously you might find the weights, you might want to choose you know, different weights for certain exercises, but I'm just gonna keep the same dumbbells throughout. I'm using a pair of 10 kilograms here. So I'm rotating as I curl, lowering it, and repeat. Next one's gonna be a plank. So we're actually gonna do a high plank, body weight only. I wanna just build the strength in our chest and shoulders. So that when we move on to things like plank, sorry, press ups, and mountain climbers and burpees, you've got the upper body strength in the, in the shoulders and chest. So squeeze those biceps, really rotate as you curl, bring it up nice and slowly. One more rep. Okay, so we're gonna put these weights down, and we're gonna look as the high plank. So I wanna just build the strength. So obviously, if you think about this as a starting position, a plank, you know, you do, you do mountain climbers from here, you can do a you know, squat for us, we do push ups. Obviously it's hard to get that strength without the actual base, so we're going to just hold the plank for 40 seconds. Let's go. So hands are stacked under the shoulders, they're not really far in front like this, they're literally just underneath the shoulders. And let's hold this position for 40 seconds. So really think about, don't bend the arms, lock those arms out, push the hand into the ground, and squeeze the abs, squeeze the core, squeeze everything tight, and push those hands down. Really, really keeping that base nice and strong. That's the starting position for so many exercises. 10 seconds to go, then we're back on our feet. Hold it, push, hands as the ground, straight arms, don't bend them. Don't bend, straighten them, three, two, one, and relax. So as we it's building the strength from our shoulders, our chest and triceps, and obviously our core's work as well. So really great, just a foundational move to start from. We're now gonna pick up the dumbbells. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. So what that means is, one dumbbell each hand, we're gonna reverse lunge, one rep, two rep, and then we're gonna push press for two reps. Let's go, so reverse lunge for one, reverse lunge for two, and we're gonna push, one, two, push press. And again, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, and two, overhead press. It's hard with this weight. Repeat that, so again, nice big reverse lunge. So front rep position, stand up, if you need to, you can use the legs slightly to push, just to pump up and get a bit of momentum. Whoa. 10 seconds of the clock. Ah, he's hard on the shoulders. One more. Oh, smack yourself in the head. And a rest. Okay, shake those arms off, we've got a 20 second breather. We're now gonna actually go down the ground and do a floor press. So if you have got a bench, obviously use a bench, but just for people that don't have a bench, all we need is a dumbbell sort of floor press. So we're gonna go into this position here, in a glute bridge position. And we're gonna bring this thumb over the head, and we're gonna bend the elbows, and press, off we go. So glutes are activated, 
hamstrings are working, bend the elbows when they hit the ground, drive up, work in the chest and triceps. Okay, this is gonna build up the press up strength. So we're really thinking about bending those elbows, straighten them up. This is the fifth move in the round. Then we're gonna get back on our feet, and we're gonna go back round into uh, round number two, into those front squats. Good, so slowly lower the dumbbells, and press. Last few reps, and we're back on our feet. Lovely, right, so just have a second, 20 seconds to recover. You'll feel your my shoulders are aching already from the front squats and obviously the lunges, it's definitely loading the, the deltoids a lot. So we're now going to go to the front squats, and this is our second round. It's four rounds in total, it's a 20 minute workout. So pick up the dumbbells, okay, one in each hand. Let's go get that position, squat down low, drive up. Good, so squat down low. Whew. Oh. So it's building up the quads. Again, you've got to go as deep. Go when you feel comfortable. Down, up, down. Ah. Oh, that's 20 kilograms feels a lot heavier the second time round. Down, and up. Oh. Okay, last. Five seconds on the clock, let's do one more rep. Down. Ah. Recover. So yeah, a lot of it through the upper back, shoulders here. Let's have a quick drink, we've got 20 seconds to recover. Here we go again. This time it's the bicep curls. So one down on each hand. You can adapt the weights if you need to change them now. That's a good time on your second round. If you found things too easy or too difficult. Okay, so we're gonna rotate as we curl. Really think about controlling the dumbbell, you're on the way down. So this is a 20 minute session. There's loads of great workouts on the Body Coach TV right here. So come back, keep training with me. I've got loads of free workouts, but if you can't afford the app, there's always someone to train with me, okay? And I want you to use it, tap into it this year, and really achieve your goals, yeah? Really keep coming back. Right, we've got another 10 seconds on the clock, so curl those dumbbells. You can feel it in my biceps, but also my like, upper back shoulders are aching a bit. Right, rest. You're able to activate these muscles here if you feel them working. So we're going into that high plank now. Remember, I want to see a strong high plank. Hands underneath. If you can't do a full 40 seconds, you can always obviously have a little break. Look, come off, shake your arms a little bit and reset. But hands are stacked under the shoulders. Here we go, 40 seconds. Okay, lift and hold. So this is a 40 second plank. Remember, your hands are stacked. We're locking this position here and we're not going to bend. We're going to lock, push to the ground, push hands into the floor. I can feel everything working there, I can feel my quads are fired up, my quads are working, my abs, shoulders, chest, triceps, a lot of muscles here. This is the foundation for so many moves, so stay strong, don't drop. Don't drop, 12 seconds on the clock. Go on, push again, push the hands down. Push your hands down, feel your chest engage. The pecs are working, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, yeah, really feel that in the pecs. Shake those arms off. We've now got these reverse lunges into the push press, quite tough on the shoulders. Remember, if the weight's too heavy, now it's time to drop it. Um, and if you're struggling with the push press, just do the lunges, yeah? All right, if we, off we go again. So, dumbbells up nice and high. Two reverse lunges, so lunge back, lunge back. And from there, push up once, push up twice, repeat. Step back. Ooh. And then push. Ah. Heavies, heavy weights. 20 seconds left. You can use that bounce. Look, one, two, ah. Lunge, lunge. Oh, lost my balance. Last 10 seconds. Ah. Ah. Okay, lunge to finish. Ah. Second time round. So we're going to go down now some push press. So again, we're going to be in that floor press position. So you're going to be glutes activated, lift up. Activate your hamstring and your glutes, and we're going to press from there. So one down with each hand. Okay. Let's go, so bend those elbows. 
when they hit the deck, drive them up. 40 seconds on this one. This is the end of round number two. Oh, my chest is tired. Bend, press, good. squeeze those glutes, so I keep that hips high off the ground. Hamstrings are working, glutes are engaged. And push. Back up on our feet after this one, we're back to the third round. Come on, it's getting harder. Oh, it's very shouldery. It's really dominant on the shoulders. Okay, dumbbells down, 20 second recovery. We're going back, we've done two rounds, two to go. Can you maintain the same weight, the same reps, the same control? That's the goal, okay? To not lose form, to stay out. Okay, shoulders and neck. Okay, front squats. These are getting tough now, aren't they? Okay, we go down low, drive up. Good. Front rack position. Ah. I actually think doing them slow is what is harder. So slow them right down. Oh, my shoulders are on fire. Come on. Shoulders are absolutely burning up. Oh. That's like two front rack positions. That's why it's, it's killing off the shoulders. We're gonna do the bicep curls now, third set. Again, I want a good posture. We're not swinging the weights. Really, really, really control it, okay? Oh, my shoulders are in bits. Okay, dumbbells. Here we go, so curling, rotate. It's great to be training again with you. Got lots of great sessions planned for this year. And stay tuned, because there's so much amazing, even in the back, back catalog of workouts from all around the world that I've trained, Really good workouts. So always dip back, favourite, save it, you know, favourite or save the workouts you love, and keep coming back, keep coming back to ones you like. Push yourself, lift heavier, progress, smash your goals this year, really make it happen, okay? Don't give up, it takes effort, so it's hard work all year round, it never gets easier. Three, two, one, recover. Dumbbells down, we're gonna get that high plank. My shoulders are on fire. They really are. Okay, remember high plank, lock it out. Once you're up, can we start for 40 seconds? I know it's tough, really think about pushing away, but activate your pecs, yeah? Put your hand under the shoulders, go. Hands stacked underneath the shoulders, feet together. Let's hold this position here. Okay, there's 30 seconds on the clock. Then we're up for those reverse lunges into the push press. Oh, this is a hard move, just holding this static is really tough. Just don't get lazy on them, don't go soft. Push the hand into the ground, tense those shoulders, tense those quads and the pecs. Tighten it all up, abs engage too. And 10 seconds we rest. Hold it, come on, eight seconds, seven, six, hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, ah, ah. Shoulders like boulders. Got a little sweat on now, it's kicking in. We're working hard, heart rate's raising. We are on it. Let's get me time to start there and set me finger. Right. Okay, next move. Reverse lunge time two into the press. Reverse lunge for one. Reverse lunge for two. Feet together, press up. One, two. Oh. She's very shouldery now. It's okay to use those legs a little bit, yeah? So lunge back, and then from this push press, you can just use a little bounce, so just a little press of the legs. Ah, I've got a break with them. My shoulders are burning up. It's okay, we can't do a full set, it's better to stop than, you know, be arching and hinging yourself. Put them down if you have to. Ah, okay, we're down on the ground now for the floor press, which is that bridge position again. Yeah, I was losing it there. So in 10 seconds time, we lift our heels off, uh, heels into the floor, lift our glutes up, lift up, create that bridge position, activate. 
Let's go. So bend those elbows when they hit the ground. Drive up. Good. Inhale down. Exhale as you push up. Right, squeeze the glutes again. Lift that bum up so don't let it drop. Lift it up. Bend. Press. Bend. Press. Bend. Drive up. Come on, really strong now. Get harder. Keep the engage, uh, glutes engaged. Lift that bum up off the floor. Last few reps. There. And rest. Ah. Oh, that's three rounds complete. One to go. This is the final round now. 20 minute workouts almost complete. So, same weight if you can. Stick to it. Let's maintain the energy, right? We've got one more round. We're going back into the front squats. As I said, my shoulders are very tired. It's not easy because your shoulders in that position are activated. Come on, let's go. Last set. Squat down low. Drive up. sit back into that mantle chair. Keep that chest up. Shoulders up. So shoulders back, chest up. 20 seconds left. Ah. Come on. Come on, legs. So legs now, innit? Oh. Last rep. Mm. Oh. I didn't get any easier. Quick drink if you can. We're going again now with the bicep curls, last set. Again, form is everything, right? If the weight feels too heavy, drop it. If you're really light, not feeling anything, increase it. It's a decent weight, let's go. So rotate as you curl. Squeeze those biceps. Elbows tucked into the body as well, don't flare them out. Keep the elbows tucked in against the body. And rotate and curl. Lovely stuff. Come on, we're almost there now. You never regret a workout. Big push to the finish. 15 seconds. And we're going down the ground for that high plank, the last one in that static plank position. It's been a great workout today. I've loved it. Hope you enjoyed training me again. And I appreciate you for choosing to train me today. Last one. There. Right, dumbbells down. Final plank, remember, as I said. Really think about not just to push it, like just holding your hand up, push away. Really push away, create some tension here. You ready for it? Last one, number four. High plank, hands stacked on the shoulders. Let's go. So remember, like, hands up ahead of us like this. And literally just directly underneath the shoulders. This is where you're gonna feel the tension in the arms. Your abs are working harder. If you take your feet wide, it comes easier. Bring your feet narrower, you'll find that engage the core more. And really tighten up the abs. So squeeze the abs, tense it, push those hands into the ground. Now push down, push down. So you're sort of lifting yourself up through your shoulders, sort of scapular retraction. Push. Oh, three, two, one. Oh. Stinging, stinging eyes, sweaty eyes. Uh, last two moves to finish the workout. Two reverse lunges into the push press. If you can't do the push press and your tight arms are tired, just stop a bit short, so it's no problem. I don't know if I'm making this 40 seconds, but I'll have a go. Okay, so dumbbells high, front back position, let's go step back for the lunge. Good, just before that knee hits the ground, drive forwards. Now we push press. One, two, last round, come on. Last round. Push, one, push, two, 20 seconds left. Push, ouch. I've got one more set in, I think. Last 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Push, push, and rest. Whoa. Down on the ground. Final move, number 20. This is our floor press in the glute bridge position. So activate posterior, okay? Lift and press from there. Oh, that's done me that. Has. Done the shoulders in proper. Right, okay, so press up the 
Let's go. Lift those glutes off the floor. Bend and press. I said, really think about the control tempo. Don't push up towards your head. Keep them in line with your chest. Okay, so in line with your chest, dumbbells are landing, in line with your pecs. Drive up from there, straight up. Slowly down, a little bit of power through, out and way up. Three, two, one, press. Three, two, one, press. Last exercise, last couple of reps. Do one more rep. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. Oh, yes, please. That will do. That will do. 20 minutes in the can. Lovely little workout. Hit some big muscle groups there. 20 minutes, don't need a lot of space, one pair of dumbbells. I really hope you enjoyed that session. Remember, I post a new workout every week on the YouTube channel. Please subscribe, tell your friends and family about the channel. And if you want more support and guidance, check out the Body Coach app. You can do a three week trial. It's incredible because you can combine the training with the meal plan. That's where the results come. Have a lovely day, see you soon, and take care.